Well, I guess it beats over the river and through the woods. I don't feel like going to grandmother's house right now. Oh, it smells funny. Ah, uh, yes. The 1930s, where safety was only a theory. A thrill a minute. Yeah, if you didn't Net die. Twisters. Spine shaker. Rides like this are a lot of fun. When you're bored out of your while, skull. And for some people. But few of us would like to do very much traveling over the waves of a roller coaster. I don't know. This seems like These a good idea. These are only idea. a few of the devices that man has invented to give himself a thrill. Including and cocaine. And in the neck. Sudden ups and downs are all right in an amusement Some device. of that stuff just looks so safe. But automobiles so safe. haven't much use for them. The automobile engineers know that in our motor cars, we want comfort. No, they're riding through the Pennsylvania Turnpike. level ride. Even when we want to travel on the level, the ups and downs. The waves what is he the Earth broadcasting from a cave? Complicate the problem I'm telling you, Meredith, I know exactly where I'm going. Ride. Sure, the we'll get to Schenectady from Earth's here. The surface over which we travel have been reduced. Great progress has been made in leveling and smoothing out roads and highways. And we still haven't figured out potholes. Automotive engineers have it's long quite the known mystery. that all roads can never be made perfectly smooth. Even the smooth, paved roads have long, gradual waves. Or small, sharp bumps. That have Not depicted here. We couldn't afford one. Speeds. The wheels of our go round and round. These waves, just like on the bus. Up and down with each change in the surface of the road. So to give us the smooth, level ride we want, engineers knew that the smoothing and leveling would have and to be done by the motor car itself. Between oh, the now this is just some black magic right here. Some I can't, I can't even handle this visualization. It's making me weird. Let's see for ourselves the method by which the engineers have approached and solved this At problem. At this bowling alley. Here is a wheel, fastened so that it wow, is free Wow, it's like to watching Monty Python. The wheel rolls on a moving belt, rising and falling whenever it strikes a bump. A oh, I'd like to strike some bumps if you get what I'm saying. Wheel, carries a tracing pen. And when the wheel wow, moves the earliest lie detectors down, really did suck. The tracing pen draws a line which shows the movement of the platform. Ooh, you trace. Congratulations. Of the up and down movement, this is quite the invention. The paper moves at the same speed as the moving ground belt. You got that? We'll start the model running. Whoa, now, you just drew a butt. The trace line gives us an exact picture of the up and down chest. movements of the wheel and platform. Let's see what happens when we use more speed. Some people like different sized butts. Speeds, the effect of a bump is so is this how they great. did the Flintstones animation when they were driving a car? In slow motion photography, we can see that did the wheel Did you really need to slow it down for us? I think I kind of get it. Of course, it. this jolting is passed on to the platform. We can mount a fairly stiff spring underneath You can't the say stiff in the 1930s. That'll get you two nights now, in the pokey. Let's watch it in slow motion photography. Yes, in the 1930s, folks certainly were bored out of their skulls that they were willing to watch a car wheel just ride on a belt. The traced line shows that we have cut down the jolting. Because I wonder the spring how much you had to go through to become a bump. finger model in Let's these uh, shorts. Let's substitute a soft spring for the stiff spring that we have been using. A softer spring gives a smoother line. Because a soft spring is able to spread out the effect no of the No springs! <laughs> and act as a better cushion against the jolt of the wheel. But when there are four wheels... Oh, mounted in that's just sets, a mathematical equation no one can handle. Car, ...the problem is complicated. Until recently, the front springs of the automobile had to be stiff. Again, we can't say stiff in, in the 1930s. That leads to babies. If one set than the other set... The stiff set will bounce harder and faster. You definitely can can't say harder and faster in the 1930s. That'll get you like a week in the jailhouse. Causes pitching when the wheels strike a bump. Ooh. Ain't science and technology great? The traced line shows this clearly. Yes, clearly. The only I can way just to tell this, this is riveting. Holy spring. shit. And make the front spring soft. Wow, they got Genie for my Genie to do to all this. The job of absorbing bumps. Suppose Isn't we that what Stratix pads do? With a rigid, immovable beam. Now the wheels can be fastened to the beam by two parallel swinging arms. Oh, the wheel man. is pivoted 
so this is getting too kinky for me. By a jolt or bump, the wheel remains vertical and in perfect alignment. And so now, in place of a stiff spring, we can use a soft spiral spring. You just took that to from my ballpoint pen. And level out the bumps. Since the rigid beam and the swinging arms keep the front okay, wheels in dude, line. you need to do something about your cuticles. I don't know how you made a pass casting with do. that finger, but with buddy, you need to clean and that. Springs equally soft. The platform is held in balance. I wonder if he had to shave his knuckles for this. I mean, this is a pretty uh, I wonder if he had to shave his knuckles before he came to casting. Soft, we have another I mean, if you're going to be a finger model, I guess you've got to do what it takes. To level out the bumps will compress too rapidly under a heavy shock. And springs that are soft enough to absorb small shocks have a tendency to continue well, what if bouncing you want some bounce, especially when you're in the back seat? It's kind of important, don't you think? So to help the springs absorb heavy shocks, we can slow down their action by means of shock absorbers. The I wonder shock what Chevrolet's toy like car budget is like. The movement of the spring. I mean, this and short alone is probably like half a million dollars. Compressed and then released. We can make the severest kind of test to see whether we have a method that will really iron out the Well, you're going to shove down. it down a staircase like we'll I did when I was four? We'll use bumps of different sizes. And we'll run them under our wheels at full speed. Ooh. Now watch the traced line. The traced line seems to be pretty smooth. Not as smooth Let's as my face. The slow Maybe as smooth as my teenage son's face. No more pitching. And the no more what? You definitely can't say that in the 30s. Spread out the effect of any bumps that they can't completely absorb. Of course. Of course, of course, a horse, of course. Where strength and safety are of maximum importance. Stare into our hubcaps. Same bump absorbing road leveling principles with a much stronger and more durable Yeah, back when cars were tanks. The front wheel is pivoted so that it can be steered in any direction and is mounted on a strong Oh, that's right. Arm. Back in the day when the hubcaps the were like that. The arm is fastened to the rigid immovable crossbeam by means of two parallel swinging arms. This kind of reminds me of that arms and the dipping bird when you had the, the water in the, the cup. Wheels in perfect alignment. So the genuine soft knee action spring. Knee action, huh? One job to Doesn't do. look like any knee I've Push ever seen. A double action shock absorber controls Ooh. both the compressing and stretching Impressive. of the spring as it absorbs I have heavy no jolts. idea what's going on. This combination of soft cushioning springs mm, together with positive cushion. double action control on the front wheels is balanced Made in the Dayton. rear wheels. I'm sure nothing's been made in Dayton since this thing was created. Double action shock absorbers for control. With soft, balanced springing. Why does it have a tassel? This isn't a bicycle. The and leveling of roads is done by the motor car itself. The pitching and the you up can't and say that. This is the 30s. 11. Here is a real test on a full-size scale. That pipe sticking up from the top of the car is a giant tracing pen. Uh-huh. Somebody has smoked some really good stuff to create that paper. idea. And this tank of skywriting smoke will take the place of ink. Uh-huh. The car rides smoothly over the way. Farmer Bill While agrees. Of course, of he pump. barely has full function of Watch his limbs. Watch the trace line. And so, the pain in the neck has been taken out of ordinary driving. This looks more sad than anything. Over any bumps on city streets or on country roads. Can you believe this line of bull I've been selling you for the last nine minutes? It's impressive, isn't it? That's why you should buy a Chevrolet. Because Jim Handy said so. Ugh.